rising homicides in the city of Houston. KPRC2 Investigates has been tracking the growing number of cases for the past year, and that number could top 500 in 2021. Families of victims worried their cases will go unsolved, and detectives are forced to take on new cases each and every day. KPRC2 investigator Robert Arnold live with their concerns and what HPD says may be contributing to the increase. Robert. The number of murders is up roughly 30% this year. We still have two months left in the year. But when you start looking at the individual motives behind many of these murders, you find there is far more than just one or two reasons for this increase. My phone kept ringing and it was it was saying that it was my mother-in-law. It's a message no wife wants to relay to her husband. We got to go. Your mama been shot in the head. 60-year-old Leslie Bibbs was shot in her Southwest Houston home on New Year's Eve 2019. Over a year now, I'm still looking for answers. Bibbs' murder remains unsolved. And every day the youngs hear about our rising murder rate, they worry. That's all I think about is that my mother... It's getting pushed back further down the line. KPRC2 investigates looked at 1,254 Houston murders from 2018 through August of this year. Just over half remain open. When we map these murders, you also clearly see clusters in the southeast and southwest parts of town. We had more murders in the last year on that street behind me than we had in the last 28. Tomorrow Bell heads the McGregor yeah, Super yeah. neighborhood yeah, on the city's south side. So what's happening here? I honestly, as I said, I believe I blame it on the economics of the time and the, the non-punishment for crimes. Bell also believes COVID is a factor. Yeah, I don't think you can blame everything on the pandemic, but it has, I think, kind of initiated uh, or, or started a, a trend that we're not happy with. HPD Assistant Chief BG Null says officers have noticed a general uptick in violent behavior since the pandemic began. We have seen an increase in uh, gang violence. Uh, we've also seen an increase in uh, domestic violence murders. Null says drug violence is also up. As for the areas where more murders are happening. I think we see a lot of gang activity in those areas. We see a lot of um, inner gang fighting in those areas. Null says HPD is working to address all of these issues, but that still leaves families like the Youngs wondering about their loved one's case. Just, Let me know that this saying. is just not another case to you. If it were my family member, I would have the same concerns. But I can assure you, we take every case seriously and we work diligently to solve every case. Because of the uptick in violent crime, Harris County officials are now trying a different approach that does not involve law enforcement. We'll talk more about that coming up at 6 o'clock. Reporting live from HPD headquarters in downtown, Robert Arnold, KPRC 2 News.